In this lesson we're going to look at division problems and uh, some basic vocabulary involved in dividing numbers, some notation, um, and then a couple of special cases uh, for division. So first of all let's look at some notation. Um, one way you might see a division problem written, if I want to take 72 divided by 8 you might see it like this. Um, another way is where you stack two numbers on top of each other and put a horizontal line between them. So that would be asking me to find 24 divided by 3. And then finally, sometimes we have one number inside of this kind of partial box here, and then another number sitting to the left of that box, and that indicates that they want us to take 63 divided by 7. So, uh, first of all, let's talk about what does it mean to divide two numbers. When I ask, what is 72 divided by 8, what am I really asking? Well, what I'm asking is, how many times does 8 fit into 72? Or another way of saying it is this, 8 times what number would actually give me 72? And so hopefully from your multiplication facts, you already know the answer to this question. Okay? The answer to this question is, of course, 9, because 8 times 9 is 72. So the answer here is 9. For our 24 divided by 3, we could kind of do the same thing. We could say, okay, how many times does 3 go into 24? Or 3 times what number equals 24? All right, well... Again, from our multiplication facts, we should know that 3 times 8 equals 24, so 24 divided by 3 equals 8. And finally, for our last example here, 7 times what equals 63? Well, 7 times 9 equals 63. And when a problem is written like this, you actually put the answer up above the last digit of that number, 63. All right, now a couple of um, vocabulary terms that we also need to be aware of when it comes to looking at division problems. Um, first of all, and let's just, to, to define these terms, I am going to use 72 divided by 8 equals 9 as my example. So in this example, 72 is the dividend. And that dividend is just the number that is being divided. The number that's being chopped up. 8 is the divisor, the number that is doing the dividing, or how many equal pieces you're trying to split the dividend into. And 9 is the quotient. So these are all important terms to know. They're going to come up more than just in this section um, within this class. So dividend is the number being divided. Divisor is what you're dividing by. The quotient is the answer. Now the last thing I want to do in this um, introductory video is talk about two special cases that come up um, when we're talking about division. One is when we want to take 0 divided by a number. So let's take 0 divided by, let's just say 5. All right. Well, to play the same game we did up here with all of these, what I could be asking myself is 5 times what equals 0. So what would have to go in place of this question mark in order for 5 times something to be 0? Well, the only option is for this question mark to actually be 0. And so because the only thing this question mark can be is 0, it must be that when you try to take 0 divided by a number, you end up with 0. Now let's take this problem and turn it around a little bit. Suppose I had 5 
divided by 0. And I wanted to know what that was. Well, playing the same sort of game here, what I'd be saying is 0 goes into 5 how many times? Or 0 times what equals 5. But there's a bit of a problem here because we know that 0 times anything is 0. So no matter what you made this question mark, there's no way you could ever make 0 times that thing equal 5. So we'll just know here that nothing works. And so what that means is that this division problem I wrote up here doesn't really have an answer. And so what we say is 5 divided by 0 is undefined. So the conclusion here is that you can take 0 divided by a non-zero number, and that will give you 0. That's not a problem. But if you ever see a non-zero number divided by 0, that is an undefined quantity. And so that's, that is not going to work. And so you just say it's undefined.